Hi everyone, welcome to Social Psychology. In this lesson, we're going to introduce some key ideas from social psychology and learn about socialisation. First, we'll take a general look at socialisation before going into more detail on primary socialisation and secondary socialisation. Let's jump in. Socialisation is the process of how people learn the behaviours, attitudes, customs and beliefs of a particular group. The idea behind socialisation is that we aren't born with this kind of knowledge. Instead, we learn these behaviours and attitudes as we grow up and interact with the people around us. While the socialisation process happens throughout our entire lifespans, a lot of the really important social learning occurs in childhood. So this is where our parents and close family often have a really big impact on what and how we learn. The people who facilitate or encourage our socialisation can also be called agents of socialisation. By agents, I just mean a personal group of people who are responsible for our socialisation. So this could be your parents, family or friends, but more on that later. There are two main types of socialisation we're going to learn about today, primary and secondary socialisation. Primary socialisation happens to us when we are young children living in the family home. So primary socialisation involves learning behaviours, values and attitudes from parents and other close family members. This is a really important stage in our greater social learning as it teaches us important life skills and shows us how to appropriately socialise and interact with other groups. Because socialisation encompasses such a wide range of skills and behaviours, Primary socialisation can involve directly learning skills, like for example how to tie your shoelaces from your parents, or indirect learning. This indirect learning often involves modelling, which we looked at in the learning and motivation topic. To quickly refresh, modelling involves you modelling, or basing your behaviour, off a close role model. So for example, you might grow up with parents who are really open-minded and accepting of different people and cultures. From observing this throughout your childhood, you might then model your attitudes and values based on your parents' attitudes, expressing a similar sense of open-mindedness when you interact with other people. Remember how we briefly spoke about agents of socialisation at the start of the lesson? Well, when it comes to primary socialisation, the main agents of socialisation would be your key role models in childhood, so your parents, siblings and other people who are close to you. Let's move on to secondary socialisation. Secondary socialisation occurs after primary socialisation and is when you start to socialise independently from your parents or immediate family. This process takes place as you move from childhood into adulthood and involves you learning behaviours and attitudes from other agents which aren't your immediate family or parents. School plays a big role in secondary socialisation as this is often where children first learn what kind of behaviours and attitudes are expected and valued outside the family home. A big part of secondary socialisation is also learning how to fit in and function as part of a bigger group. So like, for example, in a classroom or a sports team. The agents involved in secondary socialisation can really be anyone who influences the child's social learning outside of the early childhood home. So this could be school groups, sports teams, teachers, coaches or extended family. To finish off, we're quickly going to look at one specific agent of secondary socialisation – Media. The media, whether it be social media or television, can play a big role in the secondary socialisation of children and adolescents in the 21st century. Unlike primary socialisation, this type of secondary socialisation is indirect, as children are not actually interacting with the people that they are learning from. So, for example, children may learn behaviours and values from TV shows and adopt these themselves. Like, if children watch The Simpsons every night on TV, they might model their values based on the values that Homer and Marge teach to their family. Alternatively, the way celebrities act on social media might influence the way adolescents behave or act towards one another. Like, if teenage girls see the Kardashians talk in a certain way, they might just adopt this behaviour and model their language off of these famous celebrities. So the media is just one example of an agent of secondary socialisation, which might affect our social learning and behaviour. That's all for today, but let's just quickly summarise what we learnt. Socialisation is the process of how people learn the behaviours, attitudes, customs and beliefs of a particular group. 
Agents of socialization are the people or groups which facilitate the socialization process. Primary socialization occurs in early childhood and involves us learning behaviors and attitudes from our parents and close family. Alternatively, secondary socialization happens once we leave our childhood home and involve us learning how to function independently from our close family. Agents of secondary socialization include school, teachers, and the media, which plays a big role in indirectly influencing children's social learning in the 21st century. That's all for this video. See you next time.